Okie dokie, Smokey. Welcome to the last wine of our blind box for the month of May. 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 We've been doing pretty good. Yeah. May. <laughs> Yeah, we've been doing pretty good. I hope you that uh, everyone at home is doing just as well as we are. I've really liked the wines too. I have too. This is a great, uh, great selection. Good job, team. Yeah. Okay. So again, we have uh, another red wine here. Mm-hmm. Let's see. Ooh, this really one's okay. got some some purple in it. Ooh. A little bit of purple. Yeah. I was gonna go with uh, the the color, which would be. Uh, medium intensity. Oh, medium intensity color. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I think medium plus probably. Like, it's fairly opaque. Like, I've seen darker wines. Oh, for sure. But that's why I'm saying medium plus. Okay, we'll go with medium plus. Let's do that. Okay. Oh. Got some nice. I recognize those aromas. Oh. Stewed. Stewed aromas. So, oh, tobacco. Tobacco and stewed fruit. Mmm. It smells like Zinfandel. Yeah, I get like a, a little tomato leaf. Yeah, a little leafy, leafy tobacco. Yeah. Yeah. So that kind of stewed aroma, like on Zinfandel, can be because it will typically hang a little bit longer on the vine because it's an uneven ripener. Mm -hmm. So some of the grapes will even be raisinated by the time that it gets picked. And some of them will be slightly underripe. Yeah. At the same time. Yeah. yeah. Smells zinny. Could be primitivo as well. It smells like cola as well. Do you get cola on there? This is complex. <laughs> I just had a coffee. Apparently, was it a, <laughs> a, a level 10 or a level 13 on the Nespresso scale? Nothing below a 10. Nothing below a 10. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you get a little little cola. I even get a little bit of like a like a menthol-y sure. thing going on. Yeah. Yeah, I can get on board with that. Lots going on in here anyways. Lots, lots to pull out of the glass. It tastes really good. I think it's an Italian Primitivo. It's got a little bit lighter body than what I would be used to getting from a Zin. It could be Repasso as well. What about a blend? What do you think about blends? Well, generally, I think blends are great. <laughs> I don't think this is a blend. No, you don't think so? You think it's a GSM? I'm, I'm thinking maybe it's leaning to, towards the Australian GSM side a little bit, maybe. I think you're wrong. Okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> just, just no, just no sugar coated. It. it just right? you're wrong. Down to business. Start. You could be right. Well, I mean, it's all guesswork, right? It's blind team. Well, no, it's not guesswork. Educated guesswork. <laughs> okay, let's go with that. Yeah. <laughs> you just sticking with the primitivo. It's just. Yeah, I'm done. <laughs> well, no. It, well, maybe. What's 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 the main the main point in here that's that's standing up for you for Primitivo? Like what is like the the be all end all aroma flavor that you're really going for? Well, Zinfandel and Primitivo are genetically the same, and so I was getting that kind of Zinfandel esque nose. But I think that the alcohol is a little bit lower, which is why I'm going towards Primitivo. Zinfandel also um, is actually a thinner skinned grape, so it's not as concentrated in color as like a cab will be. It's got that tobacco-y kind of Zinfandel vibe. Mm -hmm. What's um, the, the other word for Zinfandel? Pop quiz! Oh, you mean you're not talking about the Primitivo? Oh man. I know, it's on the tip of my tongue. Oh. <laughs> I want to say it's like Zagreb or something like that. Yeah, it's, oh. it's um, it's, yeah, it's a, I don't remember what it's the called. The Croatian word. Yeah. Trip a drag. Trip a drag. That's yeah. What it is. Trip a drag. Yeah. Uh, anyways, moving on. <laughs> uh, what do you think it is, Adam? Well, I mean, apparently what I thought it was is wrong. So. Well, um, fight for it if you think it's that. So I'm getting this really. There's so many different layers to this one. So I'm getting a little bit more red fruits and, and alcohol from Grenache. I'm getting kind of this peppery, uh, savory spice thing coming from the, the Shiraz, as well as you know the little bit of purple. To me, is indicated that it's from a hotter climate region. Really? So you think either, it's a either way? You... No, I'm 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 not there, but I'm, it was a consideration. Considering it could be possible. It could be. Yeah. What else could be? Could be from Spain. 
Could be from Spain. Probably Real, not. Little Rioja? No. No? It's not Rioja for sure. <laughs> for sure? For 100%? Sure. Yeah. Okay. What else could it be? It's a Zinfandel. That's just, that's just what it is. Primitivo or Zinfandel? Primitivo. 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 Okay. Primitivo or Zinfandel. Okay. Or Raposo. Those are the only things. And so, so it's Italian, is what you're saying. Uh, well. Potentially. Maybe. Rapasso is similar to like the Amarone type style, right? So they take the Amarone skins and then they they use the skins again into the wine and, and it gets that kind of concentrated stewed sort of a character mm -hmm. because the Amarone grapes are laid out to dry in the sun, right? Yeah, so they, they kind of concentrate the sugars and then... Raisinate it. They raisinate, yeah. yeah. So we get that same kind of flavor profile. Yeah. So it could be Rapasso, could be, could be Primitivo, could be Zinfandel. That's a lot of possibilities. I mean, you're pretty sure about this, so I'm, I'm kind of curious to see if you're right. Well, what's, what's your guess? I I feel like I should I should trust you on this one. No! Yeah. You have to make no. a guess for yourself, not just trusting me. I mean, everything that you've said so far is, to, to me, is correct. So we get that same kind of primitivo is kind of where I'm going with this. Okay. We get a lot of flavor profile going on, the uneven ripening, the alcohol level plus is is quite warm. It's not um, super, super hot. Oh, I said warm. Yeah. yeah. We get a nice tannin structure to it. We also get that leathery Italian yeah. thing going on. So I think that, that that's a very good possibility of what it could be. I will trust you on this. You and, concur. Um, yes, I'm following following your lead. Oh dear. Okay. Well, let's find out what it is. It's a GSM, let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you reveal. Okay, so wine number four is... Oh! Cab? Get Cabernet! Right Get out of town. I've never had this wine before. I haven't either. There's gotta be some zen in there. <laughs> There's gotta be some zen in there. Okay, barrel burner cab. So this is Paso Robles, California. Really hot climate there, although it's only 13.3 ABV. That's about medium, that's what I was thinking. I'm not quite like, curious. I wonder though, I mean, they are doing a lot of experimentation in California with letting some grapes raisinate on the vines, so mm -hmm. that could be what happened there. It's a, it's a very juicy, fruit forward style yeah. cab, very enjoyable. I, I'd call this a, a barbecue cab. You know? Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. yeah, have this with some barbecue. Absolutely, yeah. All right, so three out of four ain't bad. That's all. Yeah. Overall, we hope you guys enjoyed the wines and had some success with the blind tastings. As always, feel free to reach out to us directly with any questions or comments or comment on the videos. We'd love to see the comments that anybody's making on there already. And to see how you're doing as well. Yeah. Hopefully you're doing very well and learning tons from all our blind videos. And thanks so much for subscribing. Absolutely. We'll see you guys in June. Yeah, see you in June. Cheers. Big ears. Oh my God. <laughs> Just had to say something else. <laughs>